Yeah, I was going to talk about the one event which, in a way, characterizes our generation. That's my generation. And this is the Conference of African Writers of English Expression, which was held in Makere University College in Kampala, Uganda, in 1962. That conference brought together many of the prominent African writers today. Uh, I was a student at Makere at that time, and I remember, you know, Wole Shoenka, Chinu Achebe, J.P. Clark, Ezekiel Mfalele, Louis Nkosi, um, Langston Hughes, uh, uh, <coughs> and many others who were present at that particular, you know, um, uh, conference. So the, and also the context in which that conference took place a world which was changing, a world which was being, whose then order was being challenged by the momentum of anti-colonial resistance all over the world. Uh, so the conference took place at a time really of changes, a time of challenging uh, challenges to the then you know, uh, uh, present. And I remember this energy of hope, of hope, of looking to a new world that characterized that conference. And for me particularly, I always have felt privileged to have been a participant in that particular conference. But what was also interesting is a challenge that was immediately um, thrown at the conference by a writer from Nigeria, uh, the late Obiwali, who challenged the very concept of African writers in English and French. Uh, in other words, he raised the language issue. But the language issue remains problematic for the new generation as it was for my generation of the 60s of the last century. Or for that one, even earlier, the generation of Villa Kazi and the Lomo brothers and other South African writers of the 30s and the 40s of the last century. Because the language debate has, was first seriously debated, not in the 60s, but actually in the 30s, you know, in South Africa by the then emerging African writers. We do not talk about those writers the way they should be talked about. And this is because there is a hiatus because of the period of apartheid when South Africa was isolated. So there was a kind of dis historical disconnect. But the Vilakazi generation and the Thelma Brothers generation and Nkai's generation of South African writers are very, very, very important, you know, um, and they should be seen as part of the whole uh, continuum uh, of African um, 